Um, overall, I find this case tremendous value. Um, $79 Australian is extremely good price. Um, it's only rival at around that price range is Antec 300, and obviously that is not painted black on the inside and it doesn't come with a power supply. Um, remembering this, this comes with the power supply and it comes with a side window and a coloured fan in the, in the rear and it also has your handy little features such as the hole in the motherboard tray which I like quite a lot especially considering that then we'll take now of a Christmas deal on so any V3 purchased, I'm not sure if it's Australia only but any V3 purchased you send in your proof of purchase to take and they will send you a free blue orb so this link will be in the sidebar of this video, I will send it to you but basically for $79 you will be getting a 450 watt Thermaltec light power a V3 case and a blue orb which is also valued at $50 so I believe this is a fantastic value for any budget gamer or even mediocre gamer who isn't too fussed about their case this is fantastic value um, I will, I will be moving on and installing right, the, the Prince in V3 build. Having some more comments. No, I didn't get a chance to finish it last night, so I have no idea where I left off. But just give you some general comments on how I found how easy or how hard I found to build in here. But yeah, I found it quite easy. Um, considering that there's not much space behind the motherboard tray to put cables, it's actually um, quite easy to hide the cables, even though this isn't the neatest job it only is for budget, a budget game in this case, but um, yeah, it's it's come together quite nice, I'm happy with it, I'm not too fussy about the cables, as long as they're neat um, I'm definitely going to look at getting a fan in here maybe one more for the top and depending, maybe it might go on the bottom to feed these these cards some air, we'll see but um, one thing to look at Maybe to get a fan in here might be a bit hard. I think the clearance between here and here might not be high enough for a fan, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I, w I wouldn't bet on putting a bit of being able to put a fan in there. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, I've only used two cable ties. I could probably use one or two more, but that's about it. Um, it was quite easy to run the 12 volt. Just run it up here under the second card underneath both of them and then up and up up along here and straight into there um, we'll, this is the, the rear just found it quite easy to put cables in there um, and yeah it's obviously quite easy to access this this rear fan for later on I'll just get some light on it, I'll turn it over. We can have a look at some light. Yeah, there it is. So it is in the neatest job, but I can probably cable tie it down a little bit more, but we'll have a look. A bit of an update. When it's on, I'll, I'll film it with the side panel on so we can see how much you actually see through that little side panel window. And yeah, I'll be sending in that my receipt to Thermal Take to get a to get the board. And yeah, that's about it. All right, just a quick look through the side panel of what you can see underneath the light here. Um, you can see straight down, you know, just into the motherboard. Mainly the CPU. If you have a nice CPU heatsink fan, you'll see that. It's nice you can't see any of the hard drive clutter and all that stuff. And through this mesh here you can also see your graphics cards and your expansion slots so it is a it's a nice new way of having a little side panel um, I've never been a big fan of it this 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 might um, this might yeah this this might be for you I, I quite like it other computers got a side panel and a side panel but you could see all the mess that was down the bottom so this one is quite nice but yeah I'm gonna power it up alright let's go for the first boot there we go. Um, get a very nice blue glow out of the rear of that case and the top. 
Let's have, a, let's have a look. That's quite nice. Beautiful finish. You seriously cannot go wrong with this case for $79. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Mr. Games official video. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright, I'm out.